Hi, I'm Chelsea and we're at Washington Bakery and Restaurant. This restaurant's been around for 23 years and me and my brother just recently took it over from our parents. I was in tech for about four years and it was a really comfortable job. Um, however, just last year my mom told me that she wanted to retire and that they wanted to sell the restaurant and that made me really sad. Like I just wasn't ready to see it go away yet um, and I guess my thought process was more like I can come back and take it over or I can continue with a comfortable job but then you know for me I feel like I can always find a nine to five job again but this opportunity might not always be here um, so when I talked to my brother about it because my brother is a cook he was on board so I was like all right let's just give this a shot um, because this is like kind of like a once in a lifetime opportunity and we both grew up here and we just have a lot of memories here and you know this restaurant is just like really significant to us and also it's just like a lot of places in Chinatown are closing down and we feel that if we let this go it's going to be another restaurant but we still felt like there was a lot of opportunities here so we just decided to give it a shot and I moved back and it is definitely like super super challenging and so different from what I was doing but you know we're really grateful for the opportunity. We have customers who literally come in every single day. Sometimes they all always order the same thing. Um, and it's really nice seeing familiar faces. Um, some of the workers here have been here since we've opened 23 years ago. So a lot of I think that a lot of the customers really like the comfort of seeing familiar faces. And sometimes when they come in, it's like we already know what exactly what they want and we'll have like their drink ready for them and the way they like it and such. But we also try to keep a balance that are, you know, with still more traditional items like our noodle soups and porridge, um, fried rice and such. Um, and then some things we kind of put a little bit more like modern twist to it, whether it's like presentation wise or adding like special ingredients to it because we're kind of like our goal is trying to attract a new customer base but also still cater to our regulars who we really appreciate and really enjoy seeing them come but we also want to attract more people of our generation not only to come to the restaurant but just to Chinatown in general you know when I grew up Chinatown was super lively and me and my friends used to hang out in Chinatown all the time but it's kind of I feel like that has died down and not as many people come out so we're hoping you know kind of being a little bit more trendy um, will attract more customers. So we have like a new drink bar and we've added like a lot of new drinks um, and I think if we just market it out more I think a lot of people didn't know like I remember you asked me why don't you try boba I'm like oh we actually do have it um, so hopefully that'll attract more people as well. My name is Christopher Hung and then we are at Washington Bakery and Restaurant. Uh, I'm the executive chef and part owner. So I first started cooking uh, at the Cliff House uh, about five years ago or six years ago. Um, my aunt got me the job and then I started in the pastry division. Worked my way up to uh, cold appetizers and then the hotline. And then within four years I learned almost everything I, they had to teach me at the Cliff House. I felt like I needed to learn more so then I applied to the Hotel Nico. And from there, I worked my way up again until I was at the sushi division. And then after two years, my mom uh, wanted to retire. And then it was either sell this restaurant or me and my sister and I could take over. And then we'd rather not let this place go. So we, so we have so many memories here. So we decided to take over. So the, I feel like the reason why we uh, are open, are still open compared to like some of the other places that close is we always try to adapt and look for the new, um, new trends, so to say. Like uh, before we took over, my mom would go back to Hong Kong and uh, see what are the latest trends are for the for this restaurant. Because we are a Hong Kong style cafe, and then where where else to get better inspiration than go back to Hong Kong and see what they're doing? So she would go back, see all the new trends, bring it back here, and then all like the Chinese community is like, oh, we can't even see that here. Or we haven't even seen any of like the new trends because you know like a whole sea away, and then also like our ingredients, um, we get we make everything completely fresh like our soups, our sauces. Uh, compared to using like already powdered bases and like powdered soups, everything is like we roast our bones, we boil our bones for 12 hours. All of our like um, pastries, like our egg tarts, we use actual eggs and fresh 
ingredients instead of like bases and like other places. The certain days uh, we'll call up our uh, our butcher, which is uh, Hinglong in Chinatown, and then uh, everything is so close, like within walkable distance, that they could just like walk down the block and deliver our meat like within a few hours or even like a few minutes if we need it. Unlike other restaurants, it's like oh for out or something, tough luck, you know. But I like to go around like. The, there's so many different produce markets in Chinatown that we could walk and actually see the produce that we need and we can see the quality ourselves firsthand. That's why I like to, um, when it's not too busy in my spare time, I'll go around Chinatown and actually see what's good and the prices and that's how we have such like a fresh items in the kitchen. So. Uh, we kept a lot of the classic items here because uh, of our um, remaining customers. We can't just take everything away that they love so much. Like our salt and pepper chicken wings, we marinate them with uh, soy, flour, eggs, uh, white pepper, and a few other secret ingredients that I don't really want to tell. <laughs> but um, everything does get marinated fresh and we keep things really nice. So those are just one thing, the chicken wings. And then uh, like a new special that we have is probably the lamb chops that I put. We make uh, garlic rosemary oil, like slow, low on heat. And then after it cools down, I marinate it with the lamb chops, add some black garlic in there as well, and some salt and pepper. And then it finishes with the chimichurri sauce. Most of the items from the bakery, we haven't really took away, but we did add some more items. I, say, I would say the most popular item from the bakery is the coconut butter bun. That one always sells out every day because I, I, like, I like that one the most personally as well. When we first took over, we had the concept of like completely revamping this place, not really a Hong Kong cafe anymore. We're like a Western style restaurant in a sense, because there isn't really a Western restaurant in Chinatown, so to say. But then, uh, since we, I feel like we changed everything too quickly, and a lot of the old customers that uh, came were like, where's our favorite item, like our Singapore noodles, or like our certain like noodles, and then our rice, rice plates. So then we had to kind of like roll back some of those changes, but at the same time, we already changed the whole kitchen layout. We used to have two walk stations with like, the whole setup in faucets, but then we took all that out and now we have burners, flat tops, and grills, which you don't really see in a Chinese restaurant. But since we added on a lot of those items, we have to kind of adapt in a sense to make wok items on the American burners, which don't get as hot. And with that kind of sense, the taste will change and then a lot of the customers can taste that. I feel like for the future, we should be looking towards the future because if we do do all this remodeling and change just for that reason and go back. I feel like there wasn't really a sense in changing in a way. We're just kind of like, we just remodeled in a sense instead of changing the whole concept completely. If my favorite dishes here, if I were to come and eat myself, would probably be the uh, Nippon curry pork cutlet, deep fried pork cutlet with curry, um, the lamb chops, of course, the roast duck noodle soup. Um, our preserved egg porridge is really good. Our Singapore style noodles. Um, almost all of our stuff on our menu is really good because we have so many items that, uh, there's, just, there's just so many items to choose from. It really depends on what you like and what you're uh, craving for. And even if we don't have anything on the menu that like, you don't see and prefer, we could make anything that you'd like on special request as well.